you. Sunset out here in Kensington. We are here with the lovely Shakita. It's been a minute. She got an update for us today. The last video we shot with Shakita was two years ago. So we are here today with an update to see what's new. She's putting herself together for you guys. Oh man, my fault guys, I didn't even know we was rolling. <laughs> it's okay, you know this is behind the scenes. You already know. How you doing, Shakita? Mm. It might, it might. How's living. You, huh? Living. Right, thank God for life, right? Absolutely, every day. See you back out here in the struggle in Kensington. You told me you was away and you came back. Give us a backstory. What has been going on with you? Uh, got some grandkids. You know, trying to focus on that. I was clean for a little bit. I slipped. But it's all about to get back. You know. Realize how crazy it is out here. How long you was away uh, for clean? Not a long time, but any time clean time is good time. Facts. Four months. That's amazing. What triggered you into relapsing? Not being prepared for other people's feelings and emotions. You can't make somebody love you on your time. So now you know that, what are you going to do different next time? Be prepared. Be prepared for people to not be where I'm at in my space. Okay. So now you're back out here in Kensington. What are your struggles? What, what, what are you relapse on? Because I know you was dealing with the crack and smoking the Fetty. Is that what you relapse on? Yeah, same shit. Same shit, different day. How long have you been back down in Kensington now? Uh, about two weeks. How has that two weeks been? Just like I expected it. Hell. Right. I don't even know why I keep fueling the fire. So what makes you keep using drugs? What is it that makes you... I think it's the... It's not even about the drug anymore. It's become about the lifestyle. Wow. I'm on your ass. Right? So sorry, you know, we we got a little throwback. We had to show our sister love. So Shakita, yeah, we back at it. You know, it's getting late. So tell us, give the, the viewers who are just tuning in a little summary on who Shakita is and what led her down this road so they can catch up. Oh man, well, let me down this road. Um, basically, getting shot. Let me down this road. I got shot, started taking perks, you know. Doctor cut me off and didn't tell me about the woes and throws of the withdrawal and it was downhill from there. And how long has it been now since you've been struggling with addiction? 10 years. What advice would you give to people who are newly, like teenagers who are newly starting off on drugs with the pills and weed? Listen to your mother. My mother always told me being young at the age of 14 when I got my tonsils taken out. Do not take prescription drugs. I never listened to her. I thought it was cool because doctors were prescribing it. Doctors prescribing my meds is exactly what got me walking down this track I'm walking down today. Right. And so you see how it starts. It starts off from so many different places. Real shit. So what advice would you give to people who were like you, you know, off drugs, but they got the cravings and want to come back just like you. What advice would you give them? Just deal with it. I don't care if you got to deal with it moment by moment, second, minute by minute. Listen, it's a feeling. It will pass. Hmm. You're absolutely right. So, how do you, what do you do to occupy your time now, Shakita? Well, right now, you know, 
I'm in the midst of this bullshit of getting high, but this not gonna last either. I'm, I'm getting ready to go back away. Yeah, because I want to do your recovery story where I come over there, you Real know, right. show you, show the other side of Shakita. How you doing, brother? All right. So say that name and then read that comment and then you reply to that comment. Okay, so Kimberly Johnson, a year ago, says, wow, she's from my area. So hard to be from here in so many wrong avenues. I hope she knows she's loved. What would you like to say to her? Thank you for your comment and I really appreciate that because sometimes that's all a person needs at the end of the day. Okay, you can read like two more and we're done. Uh, Scotty, a year ago, says, Hope the Lord touches your life. In Jesus' name I pray. And I thank you for praying for me. Last one. Yeah, don't, if you see any hateful one, just keep it going, because the hate is everywhere out there, you know? Oh, no, no, it's nothing hating. Right, because some people do be hating, and people out here get mad at me when people leave negative comments. I'm like, I can't control what people say, man. You know, I can do the best I can to delete it when I see it. So, praying for her, she's an intelligent woman of color who knows her strengths and weaknesses. I admire that. What's that person's name? She needs... She needs a strong support system to get her back on her feet. And that was Curia Dewberry a year ago. And what do you want to say to her? I appreciate her okay. very, very much. Okay, we we clocking now, Shakita. What are your short-term goals now? Um, just to get back on my feet, you know. Okay. Well, we'll keep you in our prayers. Is there anything else you would like the world to know about you? Um, not really. Just keep me in their thoughts. Okay. Prayers in abundance. All right, cool. So we'll stay connected. All right, hopefully next time I see you, you'll be in treatment and we'll be doing a different follow-up. If not, we'll still ride with you, all right? All right, So cool. guys, remember, don't be bitter, be better. Until next time, Mal, Shakita, we out there. Peace out. All right. What are you looking for? I was looking for the, the other weed jar like this. Yeah. Is it